Hey everyone, here's another quick video. This is the latest July edition of Salient OS. This is the Plasma edition. And as I was theming this to get it right, this is just the Breeze theme basically, but it's now been configured a little bit. Um, but I was looking at ways of enhancing certain elements without having to edit theme files directly. And I stumbled across a nice little technique if I just change the desktop background so it covers the full screen, you can see that there is some transparency on this panel. And that is set by the theme by default. That's set by Breeze. And the menu has a little bit as well, like transparency here and blurred transparency on that side. But let's say I wanted to increase the transparency of this panel. If I go to settings, Let's just close that window for a second. Oh, that's gone. Okay. If I go to window management and window rules, I'm going to set up a new rule for this. So if I call this panel transparency, and now I know the class I need to address here is with plasma shell. And that's very easy to get. If you click this detect window properties and then click the panel, it will tell you the window class application is Plasma Shell and the window type is dock. So that's what we're going to affect. So the way we do that, if we come in here and unselect everything else except dock panel, we're now going to add properties that we want to change. And in this instance, it's going to be active opacity and inactive opacity. And I'm going to set that to 65% for both. And I'm going to tell it to force that and apply it. And there we go. We have now decreased the opacity of the panel, thereby making it more transparent. And we now have a rule which will get applied every time that will change that. And the menu stays unaffected because that's taken care of by Breeze. Um, but we have a more transparent panel and depending on which image you use you will either see more of that or less of that now i tend to use darker themes so if i were to choose say a dark image for example then it doesn't look like anything's happened but the moment you start using brighter images for example then it becomes much more apparent there we go so there's a nice quick way of changing the opacity, in this case, of an element within a theme without having to directly edit that theme using the built-in tools in Plasma. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.